Hello everyone. Today in this session we shall discuss about nitric acid HNO3. Let's see its a manufacture, chemical properties and uses in this session. Manufacture of nitric acid by a Ostwald's process. On a large scale it is prepared mainly by Ostwald's process. There are three main steps involved in the manufacture of uh, nitric acid. The first step it is catalytic oxidation of ammonia to nitric oxide. Ammonia is uh, oxidized by atmospheric oxygen in the presence of platinum rhodium gauze at 500 Kelvin and 9 bar pressure to form nitric oxide. And step 2 is oxidation of nitric oxide. The form of formed nitric oxide it is oxidized to nitrogen dioxide. Here nitric oxide is oxidized to nitrogen dioxide. In step 3 nitrogen dioxide is dissolved in water to form nitric acid that is nitric acid is formed along with nitric oxide in gaseous form. This nitric oxide is recycled and the aqueous nitric acid is concentrated by fractional distillation up to 68% by mass then it can be concentrated up to 98% by concentrated sulfuric acid because concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent. Some of the physical properties of nitric acid. It is a colorless liquid and our laboratory uh, grade uh, nitric acid it contains around 68% uh, of the nitric acid by mass and if the solution contains more than 86% HNO3 then it is uh, known as fuming nitric acid. Now let's see chemical properties of uh, nitric acid. The first one acidic nature. In the aqueous solution nitric acid behaves as a strong acid giving hydronium ion and nitrate ions. This H3O plus is a hydronium ions. And second one action on metals. Products formed in this reaction it depends on the nature of metal and the nature of acid that is whether the acid nitric acid is a dilute or concentrated. Let's take the examples of uh, copper and zinc and how do they react with dilute and concentrated nitric acid. Here the copper is treated with dilute nitric acid. We get copper nitrate and the gas liberated is nitric oxide. If copper is treated with concentrated HNO3 we get nitrogen dioxide and water are formed. That means it depends on the nature of acid whether it is dilute or concentrated. With dilute nitric acid it copper gives nitric oxide with concentrated HNO3 copper gives nitrogen dioxide. Similarly when zinc is treated with dilute nitric acid we get zinc nitrate and nitrous oxide and water are formed. This nitrous oxide it is nothing but laughing gas but the same reaction is performed in the presence of a concentrated HNO3 we get no doubt zinc nitrate and water along with that nitrogen dioxide is formed with zinc dilute nitric acid with zinc it forms nitrous oxide which is a laughing gas Nitric acid, concentrated nitric acid with zinc, it forms nitrogen dioxide. Now, let's see it con its action on some metals. Metals like uh, aluminium, chromium and iron. Here, there is no reaction between concentrated nitric acid and aluminium. Because a stable layer of their oxide is formed that on the surface that means aluminium oxide or 
chromic oxide which prevents the further action of the metal with nitric acid so there is no reaction between these metals with the concentrated nitric acid now let's see its action on non metals this concentrated nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent the oxidizing property is due to nascent oxygen nascent oxygen is nothing but singlet oxygen see this nitric acid undergoes decomposition to give you water nitrogen dioxide and singlet oxygen this is a nascent oxygen so it is this nascent oxygen which is responsible for all the oxidizing property it oxidizes concentrated nitric acid it oxidizes carbon to carbon dioxide here the oxidation number of carbon it is a zero in elemental state it is a here plus 4 increase in oxidation number is oxidation so carbon oxidizes to carbon dioxide similarly sulfur to sulfuric acid its a elemental state it is s8 on treating with concentrated nitric acid it oxidizes to sulfuric acid h2so4 with the liberation of nitrogen dioxide and water here the elemental state it is a zero oxidation number of sulfur is a zero in this case it is a plus 6 zero to plus 6 it is a oxidation state similarly phosphorus to phosphoric acid phosphorus in the most stable elemental state it is a p4 with the concentrated hno3 it uh, oxidizes to phosphoric acid h3po4 along with it is a nitrogen dioxide similarly iodine to hydroiodic acid iodine oxidation number of iodine is 0 and uh, hydroiodic acid hio3 it is a plus 5 so iodine concentrated hno3 oxidizes iodine to hydroiodic acid now a very important reaction that is a brown ring test see this brown ring test it is the confirmatory test for uh, nitrates nitrate ions this is the familiar brown ring test for nitrates it is based on the oxidizing property of uh, nitrate ions so this a uh, test how to do this to the aqueous solution of a nitrate ion we have to add dilute ferrous sulfate solution and concentrated sulfuric acid is added along the sides of the test tube without disturbing so that a brown ring is formed at the junction of two layers here in the presence of a sulfuric acid the nitrate ion which is present in the salt which we have to confirm this oxidizes fe plus 2 to fe plus 3 and itself it undergoes reduction that means it 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 gets reduced to nitric oxide so in the progress of the reaction what happens there is a formation of the complex that is fe h2o six times coordination sphere plus 2 that is hexa aqua iron 2 ion this reacts with the nitric oxide which is formed in the first step to form fe h2o five times no coordination sphere plus 2 this is a brown in color so this is responsible for the brown ring this is penta aqua nitrosyl iron 2 ion so nitric acid it's uses it is used in the manufacture of ammonium nitrate which are used as the fertilizers and it is also used in the preparation of trinitro toluene and other nitro compounds that means it is used as a lab reagent to introduce a nitro group that means preparation of a trinitro toluene and trinitroglycerin etc 
and it is used in the pickling of uh, stainless steel that means to clean the uh, steel or a steel surfaces this is used and uh, etching of metals to make some designs on metals this uh, uh, nitric acid is used thank you